for me, I have to, it's multiple women. And it kind of starts with both of my grandmothers. Um, my mother's mother, uh, who's been gone now almost 40 years, but in the 1920s, late 1920s, her husband died while she was pregnant with my mother. She had two sons and was pregnant with my mother and had no spouse um, during those kind of dark days. And um, to hear the stories of how she managed to survive that um, is really inspirational for me. Um, and then my mother. So you have this really strong, independent woman who had to be you know, raising uh, yet another strong, independent woman, my mother, who's another remarkable individual. And then my mother had five girls and um, two of them are deceased. But I look often to my li two living sisters again, because they demonstrate for me regularly strength and courage. And um, it does make me emotional. But for me, uh, I don't have to look much further than my own family. And, and I'm really proud and pleased to be able to say that. For me, um, my mother was an incredible woman. Um, I, I just want to share, I remember as a little girl, she was very involved with Julian Bond at the time. Mm. And uh, I didn't know about politics. I was just a little girl. I didn't know, but I knew mom went to all the meetings and she was proactive doing something. And so uh, maybe that has uh, impacted me in ways I didn't even realize. And then um, I too have been influenced by women locally here. Um, one was Gloria Willis. She uh, pulled me in and we had an opportunity to serve together on the Board of Education here in KCK. And so I loved her tenacity, her willingness to do whatever it took to get the kids educated, make sure they had decent facilities, all the supplies they needed. So Miss um, Willis was definitely someone who impacted my life locally. Well, I, I can't say that I thought about it in terms of public service, but listening to Commissioner Bynum uh, and Commissioner Hill, I realized that it was always there too in my family. My mother, when the precinct uh, model locally was thriving, um, she was very involved in um, working at the polls. Uh, some may be able to remember, uh, hope I might get myself in trouble again, the Mother's March of Dimes. And uh, in our neighborhoods, cul-de-sac, I can remember those neighbors coming from house to house, including ours, to talk about what the needs of that little neighborhood enclave you know, were. And I remember her saying, and she brought property in 1944 uh, that I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to be right here. And that stuck with me. I can't say that I interpreted it at that time um, as a concourse to running for public office, but I saw that uh, in, in my home uh, public service and I was very proud of her for that. So. It wasn't just on the national level, but close to home. Thank you, ladies. That's not me.